Hi, welcome back to a new season with the Empath Sisters. We are rolling into season three, and this is our very first episode into the new year, and it happens to be a new moon also, so good timing there. So welcome back, everybody. We're so excited to be here, and um, I'll let Shelly say a hello and a welcome here. Hi, everyone. It's so good to be back. Um, I'm super excited for all of the stuff that's going to happen this year. Um, and especially yeah. for today. I can't mm -hmm. wait. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm not sure, but probably you all heard our new intro today. And we have a very special guest with us today, who is the beautiful, handsome voice behind our introduction, which is our brother. brother. <laughs> <laughs> Our brother does have a name. So. Yeah. yeah. So welcome, Keith. Thank you for being here with us. And thank you for being our voice on our introduction. You have that perfect voice. And so uh, we also wanted um, Keith to be a part of our podcast. And this was a way and we finally were able to make it all come together and happen. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for doing that for us. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you for having me. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to do that for you girls. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was a fun little adventure for me to do that for you. Yeah. Took a lot of re, <laughs> little, a lot of retakes, but. Um... I was just going to ask like, how many times did you have to practice that? <laughs> um, I think I did in total like yeah. 18 takes. Oh, that's bad. Well, well absolutely. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> I was thinking I'd probably be at like 122 take. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally what you it know, would be like. <laughs> like, I think this round I did seven or eight takes and I wanted to kind of get your feedback. And then I was told that it was accepted. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> but the time before that, I, I kind of goofed around a little bit. So yeah. I, think I sent you guys some funny voices and stuff, but yes. Yes. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Um, we should totally, Shelly, share those first well, I don't know on our blooper. I just saw his face. <laughs> so I don't think so. No. Yeah. No, it's all right. I don't mind. <laughs> oh my gosh. I well, can barely remember really, them, but you have a really good commentating voice. So mm. you know, you were I know you were playing around with it and just changing your tone and things like that. But yeah. uh it yeah. was fun. It was awesome. It was it fun. Just, yeah. It was awesome. and it was an honor. It was an honor for uh for me to do that for you girls. And I was really, really touched that you had asked me to do that and to be a part of your show. So thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. We had talked about that before because we were feeling not that like I mean we felt bad but at the same time it was like because it was just Bev and I and we wanted to include you into you know some of this as with us because you know <laughs> we grew up you know together doing this in a way you know like yeah with, with the you know spirits and things like that so mm -hmm. like exactly. we have to incorporate Keith somewhere so <laughs> yeah gotta bring him in here so you know yeah. growing up it was like this was our talk the things that we talk about on the empath sisters um, for our listeners is, you know, really everything that we've kind of talked about our whole life growing up. That's the kind of conversations that we would have. Mm -hmm. And that was our normal. And uh, we didn't really know any different until you, we, you know, start sharing with other people yeah. and they're like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it's like, I don't know if I want to be friends with you. You're weird. <laughs> yeah. Like what? <laughs> you what? And you see other people around <laughs> Yeah, right. what do you mean this little girl just like goes through you as you walk down your hallway? <laughs> or move oh the curtains. God. Or move yeah. curtains or <clears throat> all the Fly things. around or, in your room or... <laughs> or play with your dresser. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I remember my dresser mm -hmm. with the handles. Yes. The handles, yeah. yeah. If anybody doesn't know the old dressers back in the day, there used to be those handles and they, they used to hang. Yeah, they're and, like little uh, hinges. Yeah. yeah, it had a metal back plate and it would mm -hmm. just tink, tink. tink on it, lift and drop, <laughs> lift and drop. It's like, uh, okay, it's <laughs> around. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> the spirit we're all referring to is Elizabeth, uh, the one that has been, um, was yeah, in our childhood home. Episodes, and we've, yeah. yeah, we've talked about her before and she mm -hmm. just shows up and all the things. So this is who we're referring to again. She yeah. is the one that uh, did all those things. So, mm -hmm. but she was, I, I think she, I want to say passed in your room. Yeah. Like it he? was in Keith's room. Yeah. It was. <laughs> yeah. What? You don't know that? <laughs> I no, thought you knew I had no that. Idea. 
Oh my god. Oh my, <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh, for anybody that wasn't is not watching on you on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> our brother's face was like in full shock and <laughs> eyeballs were bulging like what? Yeah, I didn't um, know that. That was your room actually. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> maybe, maybe we, we just maybe we just him. told you that. That explains <laughs> your so room. much. Right? Probably. That's why I'm like, I think he just had that look of like, oh my God, everything makes sense now. It was like a piece to the puzzle. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes, she did. I believe she yeah. that was your room was her room and she had yeah, passed in the room. night. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she became an earthbound soul. And, well, uh, let me compartmentalize that for a bit. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just. Oh, oh my gosh. Your look of like. Oh, I yeah. Know. I was like, well, I just had a lot of flashbacks. So I was like, oh. Yeah, right. Oh, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. And yeah. So interesting. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I. I don't have a surprise guest of bringing a therapist on or anything today, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I hope you can work that out. <laughs> yeah, no, right. I'll figure it out. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But yeah, no, I thought you knew that because like I said, um, I, yeah, I was told that it was your room mm -hmm. and um, I remember thinking, oh, okay. And you know, kind of thing, because um, I just remember the per like the person like, well, I don't really remember the person that told us, but I just remember like knowing that they said that it was in the home and that it was in, in your room where you were sleeping, Keith. So I thought, mm -hmm. okay, you know, that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. uh, Bev and I shared a room next to you. So I just, I, I don't know why, but I always thought you knew that because we, mm -hmm. I thought we talked about that, but I guess not. I wonder if maybe you knew, but maybe you just blocked it out. Suppressed it. Yeah. yeah. Completely <laughs> just like. Gone. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, it's like not. If I have room. to stay in this room, yeah, because I don't <laughs> it didn't remember. Happen. That. Yeah. No, I think in my own head, I I thought it was in your room. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because there was a lot of activity in your room. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, definitely yeah. a lot of activity in my yeah. room. But it wasn't her though. Like, <clears throat> yeah. it was a totally other you know other things that were happening. Also, I just like literally had this vision of us on our bunk beds and all these portals being opened with all these. <laughs> all these spirits coming in and out and like and there's Elizabeth yeah. down the hallway do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 and I'm paralyzed in my bed yep oh god poor <laughs> you <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little uh, bit more about that you know like yeah. what was it like for you living in our childhood home like for Shelly and I we've talked about it on our, on previous episodes of what it was like and mm -hmm. seeing spirits and how we felt and things like that like how was it for you yeah um I mean obviously at the time it was very confusing mm -hmm. um and, and scary I mean it was definitely yeah. scary being a kid mm -hmm. um, yeah witnessing that and trying to explain it to people and they're like very dismissive yeah and and they kind of look at you like okay yeah. and yeah. we I remember the one time we had friends sleep over and we slept on the hide bed mm -hmm. uh in the living room I and remember. she made her presence and she came down the hallway and mm -hmm. i'm not going to say that her friend's names because i don't know if we're allowed to but they yeah. were like well actually we waited like hours and hours yes waiting we for her to waiting come, make an appearance yes. up. <laughs> oh and my she did gosh for, and then it was like i don't know 12, one o'clock in the morning and we're just like in a daze like <laughs> trying to stay awake and then all of a sudden you hear the dresser and we're like yeah she's, she's out again and then she came down the hallway and our friends were like ah, freaking out and we're like ah, i told you <laughs> she's real yeah it's real mm -hmm. yeah and then she'd go yeah. to the, the window and look out the window it's strange yeah but yeah but yeah no so i mean the experiences were definitely uh surreal it was like you kind of like is this actually really happening but at the mm -hmm. same time you're freaked out of your mind yeah and um yeah. but yeah no it was uh it was something we just became used to yeah mm -hmm. uh it was just yeah do you remember like do you remember your first experience with seeing spirit or kind of like what? yeah with shelly it was with yeah. Shelly. Yeah. That yeah. was a Shelly in the like, bunk beds mm -hmm. over in uh what area was we, that? We were near Queen Elizabeth area. 
at the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I can't remember which house. The, the old, old house. There. It was an older home. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So small little old home. But yeah. we were, I remember the layout of the house. And I think we were like four and five. That's right. Yeah. And I remember the house, like the, the door on the right hand side, we go in up the stairs, living room, mm-hmm. kitchen. Mm-hmm. And then it's like bathroom, bedroom, mom's, mom and dad's bedroom. And then right. our bedroom in the back corner, bathroom in between the stairs and coming up. Yep. And we were in that back bedroom window towards the backyard. And <laughs> Tell us. I wasn't there. Tell me. <laughs> wow. It was just, what happened? I think, I think Shelly was screaming, waking was me screaming. up. Yeah. And oh. I was, I was on the top bunk. Yeah. And there was. She always puts everybody on the Spirits. top bunk. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not stupid. No wonder I got top too. So yeah, but continue. I actually preferred it because I didn't you want did. anything grabbing my legs underneath oh. me. Like if, yeah. if they're going to grab, they're going to grab Shelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That oh was part of it too. It was yeah. because he really wanted to be on the top bunk. And yeah, it was, that was our very first. Yeah. That was our very, very first. Um, I would call it more like not like together, I guess, like, cause I remember seeing spirits before, but like thinking yeah. like, what is this? But mm-hmm. that was our very first one, I believe together. And it was scary for us because I feel that it was close to Halloween or on Halloween or. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Like yeah. That. yeah. 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 I just remember screaming and this, mm-hmm. you know, these things are just swirling around the roof and we're like, yeah. In full distress yeah, just yeah panic mode yeah and of course mom and dad are deaf right but dad yeah. you know he could hear he was he heard yeah. me yeah. screaming yeah yeah and he came and he flicked the light on of course right away because he was like what is going on yeah and he flicked yeah. the light and of course they're gone but i'm just freaked and keith is freaked and we're like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> with you guys like we just Oh, that sounds oh. terrifying we tried to explain yeah. to them like mm-hmm. what had happened but of course you know <clears throat> how do I say this it, you know we've probably talked about this about dad too but he would kind of like he would be he'd be like oh like like almost to the point where he was like almost could believe us but then he'd be like no that can't be you yeah. you, you know yeah yeah, yeah that didn't happen and mom would be like mm-hmm. it's fine you know you can go to sleep you know how mom <laughs> she just yeah yeah totally. absolutely <laughs> yeah. yeah oh my gosh oh, how'd yeah. you even sleep after that that would be i know i did I terrifying as yeah, a child i don't think we did yeah <laughs> we i think we just laid there and i was like and i'm on the top bunk and all that stuff was flying around like man i just wanted to go bury myself into the mattress just- <laughs> push down <laughs> you're like i want bottom bunk now actually i, I think i might even came down i think i actually slept you came with down you. and slept with me because yeah. we were yeah. like we're sleeping together Aww. yeah yeah i think we did actually i'm starting yeah, to recall that yeah i don't know if you remember but there was another one there that like we had a lot of encounters in that home because it was it was older and i remember um yeah. i don't know if you remember this but uh you had the mumps and Oh, mom was very worried that we were all going to catch the mumps and what have you. And right. I remember mom putting you downstairs. Do you remember being downstairs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. That downstairs. The was dungeon. that the house? Was that the house with the thing on the floor and you pulled the. No. Pulled no, it no. Okay, so no, I, was, no. When, I was never at that, that house. Yeah, no, no, no. This was okay. like way before you were even born. Um, okay. Same house, and uh, Keith had the mumps, and Mum put him downstairs. Oh and gosh. downstairs was very like your typical old home downstairs. It was like a cellar type thing where you kept yeah. things cold, and yeah. you know, oh, and had a little area where there was a bed. Yeah. And uh, I remember Keith being down there, and uh, this one night. Cause I think you were only there down there for a couple of days or something. Yeah. I don't even know what, I really don't even understand what mom was thinking, to be honest. I don't know. I think she just separated us because he, she just didn't want me to get it. Mm-hmm. And um, so she, he was downstairs and I remember him being su- like, I remember you being very scared. Like you were like, Oh yeah. Down here by myself. That'd like- be so traumatic. 
Yeah, and I kind of remember being down there, but I don't remember it entirely. So I think that's one yeah. of those other mm -hmm. episodes that I suppressed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I had a lot. Right. And then it's like, as we talk, you know, where we're sharing stories and stuff like that in our, in our visits, and it's like, huh. And yeah. then one opens up and you're like, oh my gosh, I remember this too. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like, oh, oh man. Yeah. And like we did, like, not that Bev, you know, before before Bev came into the picture, you and I had many, many mm -hmm. um and encounters, many of them. And that's why I always say to this day, like even our story, like my story mm -hmm. is like I used to say to you, can you see them? And you'd be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i see them too yeah and so <laughs> we would never and like when we did talk about it before to other people they literally would be like like give yeah. us this look of uh -huh. like what? you need a priest <laughs> yeah probably and uh, what were you guys because uh, i don't know life prior to me coming so <laughs> yeah. um were you guys were you guys practicing jehovah witness at the time too Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was a thing uh, when I came or if that was no, we didn't have no, a choice. Yeah, yeah, we we didn't and we <laughs> no we, we didn't. didn't. <laughs> and like that at that time, dad came with us all the time. Do you remember yeah. that? He, like he actually came with us until Together. about I would say probably about a year before you came along, Bev. And then it oh, kind okay. of like dwindled where he didn't he didn't come with us. He would make us go. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I did love the times where mom intuitively didn't take us and we would go do other things but we yeah. you know don't tell dad and she, yeah. she would take us swimming or bowling or, or yeah whatever anything but yeah. super smart yeah, mom, would you know show up once in a while make an appearance so people weren't talking you know oh yeah. I haven't seen Linda in a long time yeah but then she yeah. she was smart and then we had to go a couple times because yeah. of that because yeah. somehow dad would find out you know mm -hmm. from other people oh well, we didn't Where aren't you going to meetings or yeah well, yeah it's like any lie you're about to get caught at yeah. one point or another eventually mm -hmm. yeah. truth prevails yep yeah it you, yeah it's bound to happen so yeah so. Mm -hmm. but yeah no i remember mom doing that and she was always good for letting us sneak out of bed when dad goes to work like we yes. wait we could hear the car drive away and then, and then she, it's like she <laughs> let us out time. yeah we're so we're like, <laughs> i think we watched like is. fantasy island or something in the middle oh, of the yeah. we we watched fantasy night. island we'd watch three's company wonder woman the oh, Hulk. Hulk. Do you remember the those? Hulk. Yeah. And uh, but the thing I think about every time that I think about like when mom used to do that for us, I'd be like, why did she do that? It was at 11 o'clock, like literally before like 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock mm -hmm. at night. And I'd be like, why is she? <laughs> Maybe she didn't want to be alone. Maybe yeah. she just wanted alone time with you guys. Yeah. You know, she was happy to have her kids. Right. So totally. That's yeah. me. I don't want you to go to sleep. Come hang out with me. <laughs> I even do I it now when my kids are like, Ugh. Yeah. I'm like, please come hang out with me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. You thing. just love your kids. You just want to hang out with them. So yeah. yeah, I I know you've had quite a few uh encounters, you know, throughout your life, even you know, when when we weren't all together living together, you know, that yeah. you've had some encounters on your own, haven't you, Keith? I have even in this house here. So, yeah, which is really interesting. So how have um, they been at your place? Um, as of late, pretty quiet. Um, yeah. Uh, but there was, there was a period of time where there was lots of things going on. Um, physical objects moving mm -hmm. and it was Wanna just like, share? yeah. Um, I actually had a remote control the tv remote control lift up in front of me and then drop oh, while i was gosh. watching tv and <laughs> like uh, that doesn't get your attention right and it was like <laughs> i thought that was the first time that ever happened but i recalled after i think i was talking to shelly about it mm -hmm. or maybe okay. it was you bev yeah. and when i was living with matt in in an apartment downtown edmonton yes um, i remember that one yep i was on a date that and, was yes you were yeah. uh, and then the music kept turning up louder and louder and louder. And I was just like, we're both like, what the heck? And I, I just stretched my hand. All of a sudden the remote went into my hand. I was like, oh, I just threw like the a remote. magnet. 
yeah and i was yeah. like and i just threw it and i was like what was that and i was like it was so strange but so yeah i had those experiences um uh i had a tennis ball show up at my bedroom door on the floor yeah. i don't know who showed up to want to play but mm-hmm. i i have tennis <laughs> balls in the garage mm-hmm. and i just remember oh but i mean i was i was I was really, really nauseous that morning. That was the strangest thing that mm-hmm. I don't really ever get sick. Um, yeah. But I felt really, really nauseous. And I remember going to the washroom, brushing my teeth, coming out of my bedroom. And the minute I opened that door and there's that yeah. tennis ball sitting there and I was just like, <laughs> and then I just, I didn't feel nauseous anymore. It was just the strangest experience. Mm-hmm. And, but at the same time, I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> just you definitely were feeling that spirit because they'll make yeah. you feel how they felt right or how they passed or what they were dealing with typically Mm so it's probably whoever wanted to play with you that's probably you know they were very very sick Mm -hmm. yeah yeah, Yeah. that's quite possible right so um but yeah that was that was a very recent experience um I mean I definitely have the music turn on and off all the time and I always think I would refer to dad on that one okay Um, so I think or birds. I always have birds show up and I think of dad, but um, yeah. Do you feel music. those are your signs is the music and birds like with our dad for yeah, you? Yeah. Yeah. Or lights flickering. That's okay. Me. Everybody, everybody could dismiss that in some sense, but, right. um, but yeah, so. it's energy. It's energy. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But when yeah. physical objects get moved around in my house, yeah, I, I'm usually at awe. I'm like, wow. Cause I know how much that probably required a lot of energy in my it opinion is. but yeah. um and to take a tennis ball from my garage yeah that's and incredible. put it at my bedroom door which yeah. is another story up i'm like i don't know how that's possible i have no idea yeah, yeah. it's possible I, yeah well obviously because it happened at my door but yep. <laughs> yeah yeah like what the heck? like what? yeah yeah <laughs> wasn't there a time or an um uh, an experience that you had when you were living in the apartments in Edmonton in the high rise. Mm. And yeah, so that was a remote one. The one yeah. that the remote went in my hand. But um, you had a few there because I, I, I feel like I recall you had you were um you worked in an office, so you dressed up every day. Yeah. And I feel like I remember the belt being pulled out of your pants and was done up and left on your floor. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. Man, and I also either. remember we, you had a, your Jeep at the time and in the parkade you were driving and remember oh. your card key was across the parkade. You had seen it and you were oh, like, yeah, yeah. hey, somebody must have dropped their key. And yeah. you had always like left it in. I don't know if you left it in your Jeep, I think. Yeah. And we yeah, were coming yeah. out of the elevators. So which was the middle of the par- of the parkade. And you happened to see it way at when we got towards your Jeep, you saw, you happened to look and it was like way up one over there. Like there was nothing there, but you saw the white card key and you were like, Hey, yeah. somebody dropped their key and you grabbed it. And you were like, it's mine. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> and I was like, yeah. serious. I what? remember that. Yeah. 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 I yeah, had yeah, lots had... of experiences in that house. Yeah. Yeah. Or that apartment. Sorry. And yeah. I just can't recall. Like I've suppressed I... so much. I just hated that you didn't have screens on your windows right? on the talking. 21st floor or something. I think we were on. Yeah. I was like, um, that's weird. It and was you're like, weird. No bugs go up this high. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, but that's just weird. <laughs> that totally yeah. creeped me out. I never liked it. Yeah. I you had I lots of activity there. I yeah. do want to say something though. Um, it's funny. Like we're kind of talking a little bit of dad, a little bit of go, um, I wanted to just mention that he came to visit me in my dream last night. So I knew he knew we were all going to get together today. So of course, oh yeah, <laughs> always nice. shows up every time yeah. we get together, yeah. talk on the phone, go somewhere, <laughs> meet up somewhere. There's always yeah. lots of like heightened activity from dad mm-hmm. typically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to say like, he, he, I don't know about you guys, but for me, he came in my dream last night and I was, and when he comes to see me, it's like out of nowhere, like he just randomly just shows up. And so I'm like in this part of my dream. And I remember looking over and I'm like, who the heck's in that bed? And it's dad. (laughs) Oh yeah. And he just looks over at me and I'm like, what are you doing? (laughs) 
Did he talk to you? He just, yeah, he kind of talked to me about like, and it was about going to work or whatever. Like it was almost like, you know, when he used to have to sleep for a nap and then go to work, you know, mm -hmm. university, it was kind of like that scenario, but he was okay. like, you know, just kind of getting up and doing the thing. And I was just like, this is weird. Cause like, obviously I was thinking about our childhood stuff, you know? And so yeah. that he just sort of went, Oh, I'll just come into here like this. Do part. you remember this from your childhood when I used to nap before you <laughs> yeah. went to work? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I was just like, okay. <laughs> so weird. I'm oh like, hello. Oh, <laughs> so that's awesome. Uh, yeah. I so had dad you know, he did times. come and say hello in some way. So right. Yeah. 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 Sorry, what was that, Keith? Yeah, I was just saying that I had I remember dad visiting me after he had passed mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. a couple of times. And remember that time you and I thought we saw him. Oh, oh yeah. I still see that guy and he kind of like know, still makes right? me think of him. <laughs> We're like, <laughs> like <it's> so strange. <laughs> you know, it was it was the like it was almost like that little Caesars, right? Is yeah, he had the little like Caesar a... sign and he was yeah. holding the <laughs> Keith and just, I, Keith, Keith just picked me up from the airport. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're driving to go towards his house and we're on this street. Um, I forget what street it's called, but. It's a main street. It's right on the edge of the highway. Yeah. There. And so yeah. it's one of the main streets and all, this guy was on the corner and we just happened to be talking. And all of a sudden we both at the same time, look at this guy on the corner and we looked at each other and went, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Oh my we're god. We're like, are you sure that's dad? And then like oh my god. As he fully turned, you know, we were like, obviously it wasn't, but it yeah, it was like him. It was yeah. very, I've had that. very similar. Same walk, same hair, <laughs> same posture, like wow, everything crazy. Yeah. <laughs> if he was wearing yellow, I would have hopped out of the vehicle and ran up to him and been like, Who are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Same> posture. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was so weird. I'll never forget they that. They do show that up was... like that. You know, people say that all the time, even though I know I've heard like, oh, you have it. Everybody has a twin or mm -hmm. whatever, you know, mm -hmm. but I swear it's part of that. Just like coming in and just showing yeah. up. Right. Just, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty, because it was pretty just neat. short. It was just shortly after my collapse and I had come back to Kelowna or like to Vernon because we were going to go to that uh, 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 that thing that they were giving the firefighters and all them an award. Remember? Oh, yeah, that's what it yeah. was. Uh, it was shortly after, like mm -hmm. it was like May, and we mm -hmm. died in February. Yeah, and my collapse was in January, and yeah. it was just that quick. And so I just took it as, you know, him saying like it's okay. Like I, I felt that he knew what had happened. Obviously, he knew, but like. Mm -hmm at the time because we didn't know if he knew anything that had happened in the last you know few weeks or whatever before he passed so yeah, yeah. but yeah it was amazing and that actually happened to me yesterday again but not with dad it was with one of Dwayne's uncles like legit I thought that it was his uncle Carl right there beside me like across from me in a truck I was like oh really cool like it's so same neat do all the stuff and I thought wow I'm like, this is happening again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clearly why you're bringing it up today. These things yep. are happening. So probably right. need to talk about it and share it. So mm -hmm. I wonder if anybody else has had those kind of experiences of seeing their loved ones in just around, okay. like in other kind of people, born, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would be so, so cool. My experience with dad a couple of years back. Yeah. And this is, this is. This is before I forgave him. Or not, I don't mean to do that. Yeah. Before okay. I forgave yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. 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 And um, I was going through a period of, of uh, rejecting his visits, mm -hmm. per se. Mm -hmm. I was really refusing. And he was de definitely trying to get my attention yeah. on numerous occasions. And um, I remember the one time he, I think it was him. And I felt like it was him. But yeah. I, like, I felt uh, a very warm like breath on my neck. I was like, oh, was like, what was that? Oh, was like, and there's no one around. I'm just sitting on the couch by myself. And I was like, oh, and then yeah. but the, the most uh, definitive experience that I had that I knowing it was dad was hearing his um, hearing aid back feed. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. that high pitched tone that goes up and down. And it's like the 
squeal, like that little squawk that it makes. Mm -hmm. And it, it just, just, it just happened in the hallway. And I was like, what? Like that is <laughs> so dad's hearing aid. Like when he does, like when he cups his hand over his ear yeah. and he's like trying to like, Oh, I uh, know. Cause I adjust to... it or whatever he's doing. But I was yeah. like, but that whole sound was like very yeah. distinctive, very loud. And it, and it went for like a good second or second and a half. Yeah. And it wasn't like it just a little boop. It was like, ew, ew. I was like, oh, yeah. what yeah. the heck? It was like, I yeah. don't have anything in my house like that. Well, yeah. And for you to have not heard it for so long. Yeah. yeah. yeah and absolutely. then to hear it, right? It's like really grabs yeah, your attention. Goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. <laughs> oh, my God. But gosh. Um, yeah. But I, in that apartment, I remember seeing a lot of light orbs, mm -hmm. a lot of lights. Um, cool. Even in, in this house, once I had. Um, outside of my master bedroom to the hallway um, it had this there was this like glow of like a like an amber like a yellowish amber looking aura glow mm -hmm. that was just yeah. illuminating my whole hallway and it just kind of glowed right into my bedroom and I was just like what the heck is going on like Amazing. I thought yeah I thought someone had a flashlight towards me yeah. um, but it just went away like it was just very momentarily it was strangest things and there's no windows there so yeah and this is what you're seeing through your eyes like you were awake oh yeah I'm fully awake yeah 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 yeah, yeah. didn't you have um um an experience where a real live bird was in your <laughs> yeah. closet yeah, oh my laundry room oh your yeah. laundry room it was a northern flicker woodpecker mm -hmm. yeah that was so random too it was that was shortly after dad had passed too yeah and i was just like i mean I, I know you girls were making the association with dad with birds and yeah i think i think that would definitely yeah kind of made the link for me too it was like he's showing up in the form and i always have birds like i never really get birds around here but yeah. um <laughs> but definitely after dad's passing yeah i get well, a lot i felt like you were having them like you were having so much activity, but like really to get your attention, even mm -hmm. though you didn't want it, but it, at the time, and they were really Lots you of know, significant stuff. and just and yeah. like in your face, like yeah. things you yeah. couldn't really just deny, you know, just like, yeah. oh, you know, the clock, this or whatever, or, mm -hmm. you know, like these are really, really big things. Right. So, yeah. and so since you have, you know, what you call for forgiven him what has the you know visits been like since are they like very much still do you feel like in your face do you, do you feel like he's no. settled down more oh do you yeah feel he's, like... he's definitely settled down quite a bit yeah. um uh, i i mean that's what i mean like i i rarely had some experiences in the last couple of years mm -hmm. um i made the decision i felt that it was right to give forgiveness so mm -hmm. I made that trip out and um, I went through that and it was like a real good experience for me. Um, yeah. But, but everything really quieted down after that. And I was like, yeah. okay. So it was really a really cool experience, but, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, the energy definitely has uh, lessened. Um, I think there's still other energy around me. Right. I don't know who they are or what they're from or um, what the links are, but uh, right. I still get them like not, not as, not as much, but mm -hmm. there's the odd things. So, well, what I would say, um, is like moving forward, the times that you do have experiences, um, is to just pay attention to like when the activity happens, just pay attention to like what, who you think of immediately, like what is popping into your right. head, yeah. right? Cause that's spirit will just show up like that and they will literally, that's like them popping in, right. It will drop right into your awareness like that. And yeah. so just, you know, but a lot of people will have that experience and then just second guess it kind of like get back to mm -hmm. like, oh, what just happened, this or that. And um, whereas spirits kind of like, no, like I worked so hard, like I almost got right. through to you, right, that you recognize that I'm here. But um, but I don't know if you're not really sure who is around, like maybe dad still comes oh. to visit, but maybe is not as intense, but maybe there's others like you're saying that are visiting, but I would say maybe just pay attention to like what you're feeling or what, what's popping into your mind, what you're yeah. thinking or a memory or anything like that, that comes up or how you're feeling because sometimes and there is a relative. 
Yeah. There is a relative sure. that I have show up all the time in my thoughts when yeah. these things do happen. So I think it's Jack. Perfect. Yeah. I was just going to say, yeah. I feel I already know who it is. And I was going yeah. to say, I think yeah. it was Uncle Jack that uh, yeah. comes to visit you. I actually yeah. have even like um, um, Matt's mom, like Lorraine comes oh, Lorraine. around mm -hmm. and visits every so often as well. She's another person that uh, makes appearances for me anyway. Um, I would say other, like, other than our family, you know, right. not that she wasn't family, she was family, but not family, you know, so, but she's somebody that I, I find shows up periodically as well. So, right. Yeah. I remember Jack visiting me the night he passed. Oh, really? I was working. Yeah, it was, um, I remember getting the phone call and I remember I was, I was working out of town. I was up in Prince George. And yeah. um, I remember being in the hotel, just got there, got the phone call. So, oh my gosh. I'm like, okay. Yeah. It was pretty devastating. And yeah, then, of course. Uh, and then I went to sleep that night. And uh, I remember laying in bed, facing the wall, door was behind me. And I was sleeping on my right hand side. And I remember being woken up, somebody physically rocking my body. And oh I, my I, gosh. I was literally just getting thrown around. <laughs> what is going on? And I, I thought someone broke into the room. Like, right. I thought someone, like maybe there was a fire or something like that. Like somebody came into my room, like, wake up, kid. Like, wake up, yeah. buddy, whatever, kid. Uh, like, and, <laughs> and get up, right? And, yeah. and I just remember going, Ugh! like turning over. And I'm, there's nothing there. Lights are, it's dark. And I'm like, it's like one or two in the morning. And I'm like, Jack? That's all I said out loud. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what was that? Like, it was just crazy, but never have been physically moved like that before. So, yeah, wow. Yeah, uh, I mean, I thought it was him. I yeah, maybe it was him waking up, waking me up for whatever reason, just to yeah. think of him, or I don't know what it was, but just to give you a visit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, absolutely. He he came and saw me. Like he, mm -hmm. I had a dream with like Auntie Linda, and for some reason we're in an older car. And we're driving in this car and she said she had to go to the bank and it was raining and raining and raining. And <clears throat> I remember us driving and I, I think I was the one that was driving, but I wasn't like, I don't know why, but I was on the passenger seat, but it was, it was weird anyway. And mm -hmm. we're driving and we just pull up to the bank. And you remember a um, long time ago, banks used to have those roped things where you, you walked yeah, through you the know? dividers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they, for some reason it was sort of on the outside of the bank and I remember oh. pulling up. Yeah. And pulling up and it was just pouring. And I was just about to say to auntie Linda, like, make sure you cover up it's raining or whatever. But as soon as I went to look at the bank and I turned my head in the window, it was like, you know, really just pouring. It was like, almost like freaking splashing. That's how heavy the water was. And all of a sudden it was like, this little hole started opening up in the window and it was like it literally was like somebody putting their hands through like this to kind of like peek through the window like to like oh, wow. put their head mm -hmm. in into the car and it was uncle jack and he went like wow. this he went like that he pulled his head in and he went hey shell like he always used to say and i went yeah. and I, I i get goosebumps still and he goes hey shell and i'm like oh. I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's like, I just wanted to let you know I'm okay. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, just, you know. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. And after yeah. that, it's like, oh my God. Okay. So then I remember telling Auntie Linda about it because I was like, they must have been worried about it because they must have been thinking, like, you know, if he went to somewhere else. And, uh, yeah, he was just so like, no, tell him I'm okay. And I'm like, all right. And that was it. I never saw him again. Yeah. Yeah. I only had one visit to like, yeah. like that, like a encounter visit, you know, yeah. same thing. He was okay. And <clears throat> told me it was really beautiful where he is and oh, cool. he was at peace and yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And he said he would, he would look, look out for Lynn, you know, I'll yeah. look out for Lynn and that's all he, uh, yeah, it was, it was I was like, what? And I knew he was with dad. Like they were kind of like hanging out together yeah. type of thing. Mm -hmm. So it, um, 
which doesn't surprise me because I know so Jack passed and then dad passed so yeah. yeah and then yeah I didn't so then dad came through when I went and saw him that medium two years later right and so when dad had come through so did Jack Jack had come through in that that reading as well so mm-hmm. that would have been Mm-hmm. the only two times I think that I so yeah mm-hmm. came through my dream like that that kind of a visit and then through the medium as well so yeah yeah so, yeah I do know they hang out together which yeah. doesn't surprise me yeah it doesn't surprise me either <laughs> those two are really close so yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah they had a good like relationship a mm-hmm. yeah. yeah they sure did yeah yeah no it's been a it's been an interesting a journey, I would say, you know, mm-hmm. throughout my whole life of having encounters, just everything I know for myself that I've been through of like being in, you know, that religion, having hearing impaired parents, you know, having people look at you in a certain way and just kind of like having these encounters and just, I felt like just really finding our way through, you know, even mm-hmm. for myself, just finding my way through and navigating through all that has just been quite a journey, I would say it's been, I would say amazing for me. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's always things that happen that aren't amazing, but right. all in all, it's the experiences and that's the life that I've had so far. And it's been, I would say amazing to have those kind of experiences. It's just like, wow, it's pretty incredible. I think also too, with those experiences, it made us three really close you know, oh, uh, for sure. oh, for sure. You know, really, because um, if we, I think if we didn't actually share and and make it like, you know, together for the three of us, I think we wouldn't be. I think this made us really not just that too, but I mean, we just it just bonded us in a way that nobody else I feel could understand, right? Mm-hmm. Because right. we all could see it, we all felt it, we knew it, we, you know, all the things that we went through. And not just spiritually, like even just growing up, you know, mm-hmm. I think we definitely look at life differently than most, you know, um, we just try not to take things that for, for, for granted, right? And, and right. I think yeah. a lot of that is, is us being as close as we, we try to be, you know, mm-hmm. and right. sometimes, yeah, we don't talk to each other here or there, you know, it might be a week or two or a month or whatever, but we always know we have each other's back no matter what. And, mm-hmm. and I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's just the thing about being, you know, open, more open or yeah. sp- uh, spiritually connected or just, um, I don't know when you have that awareness and you connect with others, it like, like I say to the people that I connect with, it's the same. It's like speaking a certain language and Mm -hmm. you're looking for those people that speak that same language. And it's this, even for my um, spiritual support circle that I have, it's, that's what I created because it's, it is to connect with other people. I love that feeling that I get when I connect with people that are of like mind and that we speak the same language. It literally like, raises my vibration instantly and makes me just feel so excited and, and, and seen. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole different type of connection as opposed to just a human connection. You're connecting on a whole different level. It's like soul to soul connection. And I love Mm -hmm. that. And that's as as humans, there's a lot of times we go through our lives where we don't feel heard and we don't feel seen and all those things. And I think that's, you know, one of the rudest things that we can do to another human being. And so when we get that opportunity where you can connect with somebody beyond that, then it's like you feel heard and you mm-hmm. feel seen. And, and then that's what creates that connection and that bond. And I know that that's what we have. We, you know, we grew up very sheltered yeah. and we didn't have a lot of outside stuff. And so we, we just had each other and we were connected on that level. We could see things and we felt things and, you know, and so it was just like, do you feel that, do you, you know, did you see that? Or, and then the things that we went through as well is, mm-hmm. you know, grew us closer as well and so you know I I love that we speak that language and those are the people that I love to continue to like bring together as well to also give them that same feeling because it's something that we lack I find in our world is that connection like we just need connection it's just empathy 
oh, it's what we need, right? It's just, mm -hmm. and there's not a lot of it. And it's the strangest thing to me. It's like, we are all soul having a human experience. I don't understand why we are not nicer to each other and why we just can't all get along and, and just have that. It could just be so amazing, right. you know? And so, so I definitely don't fear anymore being who I am and sharing Good. what I need to share and say what I need to say, because I do know from experience that there are so many others that are like that, but are also conditioned to feel afraid of it or to fear it or to not be themselves. Mm -hmm. And so if I just kind of just do that, then maybe they're like, oh, she sees me and I can then use my voice and I can be who I am. And oftentimes when I do my group stuff, they'll say like, this is, I love coming here. Cause it's like, this is my soul family because they just totally feel connected on a totally different level. And I just so love that so much. So that's mm -hmm. what I appreciate the most about our relationship, you know, as siblings growing up is that we are connected on that level. And we do speak that language. And no matter what is going on in life and what we're going through, we always know that we're there for each other. We yeah. have each other's back because there's no judgment. It's just like, I got you, you know, like yeah, we're just connected absolutely. on that level that it's, that doesn't matter. So it's like almost like the human stuff doesn't matter. Like I got you. I'm there for you on that level kind of thing. So yeah, yeah that's what I love about our relationship. Yeah. So. Very unconditional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's supposed to be. We are supposed to be that extension um, and to share that here is that unconditional love. So yeah, mm -hmm. I think the, the key thing that we like, like to do is communicate. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, if, if anything does come up, we are not shy. Well, I know I'm not, mm -hmm. but to communicate, you know, what's, what's on my mind, like what's, you know, if there's anything that I feel that might be off and stuff like that, I'll quickly reach out. Mm -hmm. let, let, let's yeah. Just, you were good just keep, <laughs> Yeah. I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, yeah. we don't need to, you know, like draw anything out. If there's anything that's unsaid, that needs to be said that, you know, is, you know, preventing distance, right. Or yeah. creating distance. Yeah. And, uh, I'm quick to be like checking in. Yeah. Let's, let's do a check in. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of people don't make that effort. I think they just get very busy in their lives and, yeah. and they start to distance themselves from a lot of people, even family members. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I think that's one really good thing about us three is that we really communicate. We stay in touch, yeah. whether mm -hmm. it's a, it's a two minute, five minute, one hour, mm -hmm. four hour, yeah, all day, yeah. all day call, <laughs> all weekend, yeah. all weekend, all weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. I think that's this the key thing is is just to maintain communication and mm -hmm. and 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 also respecting the other individual as well. Like if they're going through stuff, we respect mm -hmm. each other and what they're going through, and without judgment, and and we're always there uh, to to be there for the, the yeah. other person. So. Yeah, yeah, just holding space for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what absolutely. They're going through. Yeah, I think also like our experiences that we've been through, which have been a lot of experiences, um, is that it also taught us that, you know, there's always things that you're learning from experiences. And I know mm -hmm. for me, every time, you know, we have a loss or somebody goes through something really, you know, intense or whatever, it just puts things back into perspective and it's like, yes, you know, communicate, make time, do the things because that is what is important, mm -hmm. you know? And I think the things that we've been through has, has also taught us to continue to do that, to communicate and to be there for each other and to take the time. So. Right. Yeah. And I was going to add to that because that's what I was going to say as well, but I think, and I'm not trying to make it like sound like it's because of this, but mm -hmm. a lot of it is to do with our growing up. Like we didn't mm -hmm parents that could communicate so right. yeah, communicated yeah. you know we stuck together as siblings to communicate with each other and I think that's mm -hmm. why we continue to do it as we got older because we weren't it's not that we weren't taught to it's just we never were in that mm -hmm. and that's part of the reason why we do the things that we do and we had to I know yeah. for myself I know for Keith for you like any times that we were around our parents we were their communicator. We were yeah. the ones that had to speak. We were the ones who had to talk. And so that's part of the reason why we do all love to talk. We're very good talkers, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, we are. 
<laughs> you know, but, but that's part of it. I believe that's part of it. It's not that I'm saying that it was the reason, but it was part of it. Mm. It was a right. part of for sure. growing it contributed. Up. Absolutely. I would say a big one for sure. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and, and that's all I, to me for myself, I don't know about for you, Keith or Bev, but that was who I was. That was part of me. And yeah. It was your personality we'll or your identity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah, that's my take. So, mm-hmm. and I do appreciate that what we do, uh, like, I, I totally love how we are and how w- we do it. And, you know, uh, when you said Keith, you know, like you do call out, you know, when you feel like there's some distance or whatever. And, and I appreciate that. Cause there's sometimes, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'm just like, yeah, I'm kind of doing my own thing and not, you know, checking in or, you know, whatever is going on. And um, yeah, I totally appreciate that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I think, I think the biggest reason why I do that is because I've removed myself from all social media. Yeah. So I, I, I make an effort yeah. to find out how your day is going, how are you are doing as yeah. a person. I mean, yeah. it, people can get very complacent and, and you could be on social media and you think you're actually up to date and you're in the loop with your friends or family and you just look at Facebook or whatever, some social media outlet. Mm-hmm. And, or a medium of that and you you're just like oh they're doing this you're doing that but you really don't know exactly how that person's doing right so for me mm-hmm. being off social media for the last couple two three years now which has been fantastic for me mm-hmm. um i i find it more valuable for me to reach out yeah and i'm having mm-hmm. that actual human interaction that communication point where i'm like i really want to know how you're doing and yeah. i want to talk to you and mm-hmm. give you the opportunity to to just express instead of just saying, Hey, I'm doing great. You know, this is what's going on in my life. It's like, no, but really, how are you doing? Yeah. And then you can kind of really get down to that real deep conversation. That's like, I think that's why we get those long phone calls. And yeah. (laughs) (laughs) it allows us to, yeah. yeah, I mean, but it's, it's really, I think it's important for me for sure. Yeah. um, Mm -hmm. That I do this. And I mean, I I do recognize that people have busy lives. I have a very busy life being a single parent. Um, but, but I, um, but I do value relationships. I do, um, I put in time, um, in those relationships, uh, to, to make, to mend and maintain, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. Um, but I do recognize if, if that's not reciprocated on the other end, I start to fade myself I'm like, okay, then maybe this relationship may have to dissolve at some point or, yeah. you know, just give more space. But yeah. Yeah. But with the three of us now. Nah, no, I mean, yeah. I'm in your face. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, we and, love it. That's and, good. Yeah. And I think that's what I was going to say too, is that I think it's, it depends on your core, right? It depends on who you really your inner circle. Make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Because, you know, yeah, I, I agree with you yeah. with the Facebook thing. Yeah. You can know with this and that, but I feel like for myself, I, I only have such a circle that I mm-hmm. know that I want to make sure that I have maintained that relationship with, you know, not that I don't, you know, keep up with other people. It's just that we just don't have that. Do you know what I mean? And even if I tried to do that, I think it would, yes, maybe blossom it blossom into something that it would be great. But at the same time, it's like, I don't mean to be offensive or anything like that, but it can be exhausting to keep up with too many people. Do you know what I'm saying? And and also like on, I find social media um, an opportunity for people to be negative. Yeah. Like it's a platform for people to be judgmental. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, you don't know what that person's actually going through and right. you don't know how hard, like if someone is doing something fun and all of a sudden someone has a judgment, I'm like, Oh, I wonder how they did that. Like, how could they afford that? Yeah. I know their situation is like, well, how, mm-hmm. how do you know? Like, yeah like don't be so quick to judge like maybe they worked really hard they saved up for a year to do this whatever this is and uh so anyway, and what i just does find it even matter what does yeah. it even no, matter know, but, right but it's just a, like that i know but it, it's, and it's a sense of entitlement energy. to judgment so, i know and then and you have just, that energy yeah. projected at you all the time even yeah. if they don't it's comment. toxic mm-hmm. it's toxic so yes, it, it can be mm-hmm. it can be yes. yeah yes absolutely. but um but anyways just going back to our bond our relationship i think it's i think it's quite unique and i really appreciate mm-hmm. it and i value it mm-hmm. yeah me too me too mm-hmm. and we're so honored that you got to 
hang out with us today yeah. and ah. our listeners got to finally meet you and listen to your <laughs> voice and kind of have some insight from you, you know, hanging out with us or growing up with us. I don't know. I know I was, I came a few years later, so, uh, you you did. Know, yeah. <laughs> so you guys had some, you know, experiences prior to me coming into the picture. So it's nice for our listeners to get that insight as well. You know, when Shelly talks about stuff, yeah. about her growing up, you know, prior to me being in the picture. So it's nice to have mm -hmm. the third party you're there. So yeah, really appreciate you being here with us today and sharing your insights and stories and experiences and, um, and your voice and, and your voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been it's my pleasure. Amazing. Yeah, no, no, we appreciate it. And like, we hope to maybe bring you back on again and maybe we'll Absolutely. have a session and, you know, like we, a... we definitely will. Cause the, already <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Oh, we're yeah. going to talk about this and this, like it's really oh, coming we? into okay. my mind. I'm like, okay, <laughs> we're, we're going to do this again. Yeah. So yeah. If, if you would like to be, yeah, back. of course, I would love yeah. to. Absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you again. Honestly, yeah. thank you to Keith and thank you to all of our listeners for listening today. Um, we totally, totally, really, really appreciate every one of you that listens to us and, and is on this journey with us. And um, we are so looking forward to this season. We've got some things in the works and this was one of them. So we're very yes. happy to have this done and uh, we're sending yeah love and gratitude to all of you and um yeah love and light yeah love and light everybody thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much keith for being with us today and uh love and light and uh gratitude to all of you yes take Thanks care everybody care everybody